Good morning, fellow option traders. This is Jeff, and welcome to the Daily Scan for Tuesday, May 6, 2014. Well, I apologize. The dreaded publish button, which ever since they put it on YouTube, has caused me to periodically, like every week or two, forget to push it, and then my video does not get published. So I didn't even see it until, huh, I, don't know, I think it was in the evening um, last night. So I did get it published, and I apologize for the lateness. So here I am. I'll be back, and I uh, will be vigorously anticipating pushing the publish button for the next week or so anyway, until I do it again. Okay, um, without any further ado or apologies, let's get going here. I didn't look at how the non-manufacturing index came in yesterday. Um, actually came in a little bit better. Growth in the non-manufacturing sector was very strong in April. Well, that's good. I like that, I guess. Um, but today we have international trade at 8.30, and that's about it for today. Take a look over here at the Asian market is mixed, and Europe is mixed and not strong in really either direction. All right, futures here in the U.S. We're looking a little bit up this morning. We looked pretty down yesterday and uh, opened down and clawed our way back up. I have a lot of negative delta over here. And TLT, although positive delta, depends on the negative delta happening here. So we'll see how that plays out. And then we'll go through what happened yesterday as we go through the A-plus list with, without any further ado, we'll just jump right over to that. And we'll start out with our favorite, oops, Apple. All right, Apple had a very nice day yesterday. It did not really open down, just a tad, um, from the close on Friday and moved up smartly during the day. A 20 delta trade? Yeah, because it never really did get down here to our target area in the 3020. So I'm gonna chalk this up as a 20 delta trade and there should be a fair amount of premium in there. As a matter of fact, we could go and just take a quick look here. Even for this week, is there any money in a 20 delta? Da, 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 at 590. Well, that's a fair amount. That's one to five or five to one trade here, approximately $2.50 spread and 56 cents in credit. That would be at 590. That'd be right here. That eh, wouldn't, probably wouldn't be too bad of a deal. That would be for this week's expiration. I wouldn't look into next week on Apple at this time. Okay, uh, let's see, back to risk profile. Yeah. So we'd risk, uh, or we'd uh, risk 194 for 56. So that's about... Uh, five to one risk reward okay next up to bat is Amazon we have nothing going on Amazon we did have it on our setup list yesterday but it didn't quite come through for us it is still eligible this is the second day and the MACD is not giving us a confirmation. I'm going to have to take a pass on this because there's something strange going on here. MACD, we have uh, momentum moving to the, into the positive here. And the stochastic is still giving us reds. So I'm going to 
take a pass on this for a setup for a bear call and see what happens. Boeing. Also, let's see here. This was on our 20 Delta list for yesterday, too. I was taking a look at the 20 Deltas during the day. And I was seeing that, no, they're just not working out. <laughs> uh, this was going to be a bear call because we we're in the upper side of the stochastic here. But looks like I think we're going to have a new... Um, bullish trend forming here. So we have to let that one mellow out a little bit for us. And then on uh, Baidu, I was looking at, uh, well, I did get in here at a 170 bear call with a 20 delta. And I will tell you that I looked at the spread two different spreads. One was a $2.50 spread here, a 170, 172 and a half. And I looked at a 170, 175, thinking that maybe I might want to collect a little bit more premium. But when I looked at the risk reward, I saw that the 170 to 175 risk reward was really a 7.35 to 1, whereas a 170, 172 and a half was a 5.68 to 1. So when you spread out a little bit more, yeah, you collect more premium, but you don't collect double the premium that you would down here. It's a little bit less, and in this case, uh, enough less for me to stick with the 170, 172 and a half, the two dollar and fifty cent spread and hang in there with that. And that's a May 4 um, which is the week after normal expiration. So if we look at the chart here, that's how far I ran this out was the Friday after the regular expiration. So we'll see how that one works out. Just to let you know that um, when you have a choice of spreads between your short and your long, the wider you make the spread, the less per dollar you're getting and you're increasing your risk actually. I'm sure that's not new to a lot of folks listening in here. Oops, Celgene. We are in Celgene. We've been in it since last week. And we have a normal expiration here. We're still red red. Chipotle. Ah, uh, yes, I must go back here to auto scale. Chipotle. We had them up for a setup yesterday and it failed. So we're still set up eligible because we're going into the third day and if the third day fails then we take a pass. Alright, cost call. What do we have going with them? Uh, we're looking here at a possible... Well, yesterday was a good day in the market. Hmm. Is it going to resume? this downward trend which has been pretty strong it might it might well I went to the competitor of Costco yesterday Sam's Club been a Sam's Club member for <laughs> practically ever since they started Sam's and uh, I wonder how Sam's is affecting Walmart's stock if the same thing is happening there or what but anyway, from an investment perspective, or a trade perspective, I would, we have a break here, so that makes it ineligible for a 50 Delta CSS V2, but it's good for consideration for a 20 Delta, so let's, uh, circle gets a square, and change it to yellow for a 20 Delta. 
and we'll look to see if we get a hook here for a bull put and then I'll uh, figure out whether I want it to pick an expiration for this week or the following week which we can quickly take a look at here this week 20 Delta is at 113 and that gives us 16 cents oh man that's a dollar that's not even that's stretching it that's really stretching it so I get $16 and it's gonna cost me two dollars and fifty cents just to get into it I don't like that so I probably have to go out to regular expiration which it's not going to move because probably what regular expiration has five dollar spreads is that why no oh man what's wrong here this is very strange Thirteen, and we go to May. Yeah, they're five dollar spreads. I don't even want to trade the regular May expiration. I don't know why they do that. Don't know why they do that. I'm not feeling real comfortable about going way out here. And that would be May four. That's twenty eight cents. <laughs> and, but. I could do a 111 for here. I don't feel real comfortable going that far out. That would give us 20 cents. That's a 5 to 1. And that would be at 111. Oh, wait a minute. That's on the puts. Yeah, right. That's on the put side. 111. That probably wouldn't be too bad. Let's take that under consideration. I'm going to leave these both up here and lock them in. All right, CVX. Uh, what's going on with them? Uh, this would have been, this is a good 20 delta trade. I didn't have them in there for that. That's almost a um, CVX setup. I didn't pick them up as a setup yesterday. Probably because it's too close to earnings. How did they do? Uh, they missed. But the market shrugged it off. I think I mentioned that yesterday morning. But we're waiting for the, really the next cycle. Or it's not too late to enter this. We're in the second day, the first day of the um, second day on the stochastic and the first day after confirmation. So this is alertable. So I'm going to put an alert on here. And we're above 125. Yeah, that's good. There we go. Alright. DIA. I'm trying to get through these a little bit quicker now. Um, yeah. Okay, it would only do a 20 delta on this. So let me change it to yellow. And that could be a 20 delta if you can find some. Um, credit in there there's not much juice in it as they say okay Igor this is looking pretty good even after market so I would I'm going to put an alert on here and just to let you know that that alert look at how much they moved overnight wow um, that alert had good earnings uh, yeah they beat and that's pretty good for uh, energy company I believe that's what they are don't even know much about them but I like the way that their the price moves here um, yeah what kind of a trade would I do on this this would be a 20 delta this is kind of off the side, uh, not official. I'm not even going to record it. I just want to see what happens today. May or may not get into it. 
Not exactly sure. We'll see what happens. FedEx. Da -da -da, FedEx. You have anything going here? Nope, nothing live. FedEx, we're waiting for a hit on our target. F5 Networks. Uh, we're still looking good on our 20 Delta here. Uh, looks like we may have a challenge to it coming up, possibly. We don't know. Let's see how FedEx plays out, or uh, F5 Networks. Gold. Uh, gold, we have a 20 Delta down here. We had an alert set yesterday. And gold did pretty good. I think we're okay with uh, everything here on as far as gold is concerned. Google. They also, uh, Google was on our setup list yesterday. Uh, didn't really feel very comfortable looking at uh, later in the day what was happening here. So I took a pass on it even though we got our confirmation here. So I took a pass on it. Um, not really trusting what's going on there right now. IWM. We, no we're not in IWM. Let's get that out of there. Um, this was a 20 Delta trade as well. That did not work out. We didn't get any confirmation down here. And when I looked at it, it was moving up. So I took a pass on it. LinkedIn. All right, LinkedIn. We're in a little bit of trouble here with this particular. Oh, this this is a put. All right, yeah. LinkedIn had a pretty good day yesterday. I'm no longer in this put. I took my lumps on it, and that's where we're at. So we're going to delete all drawings and start from scratch. Good thing I don't count this as a CSSV2. This is an option guru going crazy kind of a trade for earnings that did not work out. Sometimes you have to do these lives just to convince you that no, you shouldn't be trading earnings. <laughs> because no matter which way I guess it's going to go, if I'm looking at a directional trade, it goes the opposite. And if I think, well, I need to think the opposite, then it goes the opposite of my opposite. So no matter what I do, I lose. <laughs> so forget about earnings. Um, anybody else wants to trade them, you're more than happy. And let you do it. Tell your go nutsy cuckoo. But anyway, uh, they had a good day yesterday. And now we are in a, we're still in a downtrend. So we're just going to wait to see if we get a target up here. 3M. I never see too much going on with 3M here. We're looking for a target down here. We'll see if it comes down. Netflix. I don't get a lot of opportunities in 3M. I may have to take them off my list. Uh, Netflix looks like as though it's on a new uh, bullish trend here. I think that the 20 is going to turn positive. As a matter of fact, it did yesterday, I believe. So now we are in what could be a trend reversal mode. Of course, it went positive here too, but it was like all on red candles. So we'll have to see what happens there. We're still waiting for that to make up its mind. On Priceline's front, uh, I was thinking about getting in yesterday, and of course... My, the uh, hook that we had here did not confirm down here on the MACD. We took a pass on it. It's too late now. We have earnings coming up this week. So let's just move on. The Q's. Uh, again, I was thinking of getting into this. I actually am in on one here. Oops. And it looks like as though um, it may be time to get out of this. 
20 delta trade. We'll see how it works out today. Uh, Russell, we have nothing going on there. We took our money last week. We still would have made some pretty good money this week. We could still do a 20 delta on this. Um, I am going to take a look at it today. And uh, probably normal expiration on it, on this one, next Friday's. Spiders. All right. Um, <laughs> we're just trying to make up. We can't can't seem to hit either one of these targets here. So we'll let that one stew another day. TLT. We got a lot of stuff going on there. Everything looking pretty good. Tesla. Uh, we got earnings coming up. Take a pass on that. UNP we are in. With a 20 delta trade here. Here's a doji. I don't know. Anybody that trades candlesticks, this is a doji. And this usually indicates a reversal in the current trend. Or a, a low or a high for the current trend meaning the current trend here. So hopefully that that's true and it continues back up. Uh, can't tell anything going on last night. And last but not least is Visa. Um, nothing going there. Trying to figure out if we're going to end up with a trend reversal, so we'll see what happens. I had a pretty nice day yesterday. One other thing that I wanted to look at here was, yes, gold. I did put an order in on gold, and I had a limit of 20 cents on this. I was going to get in with a... Um, yeah, it was going to be a 124, 123 uh, bull put, which would have been down here. I was going to add to that current position that I have with the covered call and uh, couldn't get it to trigger, and probably a good thing. So I did try with a 20 delta on that, and it didn't work out. Here it was... Uh, Basically, I was going to try to do this 20 cent, and it never triggered. So, sometimes that happens, and I think it was good that it didn't happen. All right, so that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day, and happy trading. Oh, and I promise to push the publish button today.